It is 9.45 on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson's here. He has uh, already instructed me to put on these jazzy glasses, so yes. I know we're in for some trouble. What do we have here, Carl? So I was at the grocery store the other day, and I ran across Pringles. Oh, man, I love all Pringles. Kinds. All different kinds. Screaming dill pickle. Did you have to eat all of these? Because I, you should have called me. <laughs> I have some for you. Okay. I got some right here. Okay. We're going to experiment with it. Okay. So I thought, you know, what could you do with Pringles in a can like this? Maybe add some combustible hydrogen gas to the can and then light it on fire. That's exactly what I think of when I think I of a can it. of Pringles. I knew it. We're okay. on the same page. Excellent. So what I'm going to do here is I got a can with a little bit, uh, one little hole on the top. Okay. okay. Bottom is open. I'm going to fill it with hydrogen gas. Okay. What I need you to do is pick up one of those stoppers. Okay. You, once I fill it with the gas, you're uh -huh. going to rest the stopper on top of the can. Just like this? Perfect. Okay. Just like that. So I'm going to flush the air out of the can too. Okay. We want just pure hydrogen. Okay. Lighter than air and mm -hmm. flammable. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and put the cork on top. Okay. Just set it there. I'm going to overfill the can. Uh huh. And then I'm gently going to set it on top of our Pringles if I can do it. Okay. I'm getting nervous. Don't you be, warned don't, me. Don't that be this nervous. Be it, it'll be okay. What we're going to do next is I'm going to remove the cork. You are then going to light the lighter and bring it to the top. Oh, okay. Okay. Ready? So three, two, one. Bring it over. Okay, so right there, it's really hard to see, but there's like a two yes, inch flame. I see it. I see two it. inch flame on top of the can. Okay. We're burning the hydrogen. The hydrogen gas is forcing itself out, combusting, but at the same time, get over here. I'm there's, just a little, <laughs> yeah, yeah. there's a little bit of air coming in the bottom. <laughs> right. And look at that. We left the Pringles standing. They actually smell like they're a little toasty at this point. <laughs> they were a little bit toasty. You want to try it again? Yeah, you're going to give me a heart attack. Okay. <laughs> no, so I was thinking, like, is it possible to do this and keep the stack of Pringles? Standing. standing? Okay. And the interesting thing, too, is that they don't really combust because the hydrogen burns so quickly. Sure, yeah. I mean, these are still intact. They just happen to fall over slightly. Okay, okay so grab your stopper okay. over there. All right, I'm ready. So we're going to flush out the oxygen inside the can. Okay. Okay, go ahead and stop it. And then we'll just overfill it with some mm -hmm. hydrogen. Mm -hmm. Got lots of mm -hmm. gas. I can feel it coming out the bottom. And then very carefully, we'll stick it on top. <gasps> we're going to do the same thing okay. again. Okay. All but, right. But don't light it up yet because I got okay. this balloon with hydrogen right. next to me. <laughs> Okay, so all right, three, two, one, light it, bring it over. It's okay. okay. So, again, all right, it's going. It's tiny going. flame. Yep. And again, it's lighter than air, so the hydrogen pushes out, combusts, uh -huh. and oxygen comes into the bottom. At some point, the flame will drop down inside the can. Oh, if we're seeing it happen, it's, it's about to start, isn't it? That flammable uh, mixture inside. Okay. And it's really unpredictable because you never quite. <laughs> No, when it's going to go. Yeah, okay. Well, everybody at home is now deaf. But man, I'll tell you what, now you'll never think of a Pringle can the same way, exactly, right, Carl? Exactly. Man. So just fun with Pringles and hydrogen gas. Why and not? the grocery store. Carl Nelson, yep. thanks so much for coming in. Hey, if you want to go check out all these fun experiments, they're always doing cool stuff down at the Imagination Station. They're open today. And uh, the hours for today are 10 to 5, correct? Yep. Awesome. And you guys still have the... Um, uh, Titanic, Titanic exhibit. exhibit going on. And we've got people from Mummy Valley Historical Society to talk to visitors about that time period. Awesome. So that's really cool. And Saturday's Lucas County residents 12 and under get in free. With an adult. Awesome. Yep. Well, Carl, thanks so much for coming in. That's this week's Imagine It. I am going to go catch my breath because I am still having a heart that's like beating <laughs> out of my chest at this point. From there, let's send it over to the guys. They have a check of sports.